Hi, and welcome to this presentation on the Informatics Domain and Workflow Management. I'm Dirk Stanley, and this is one of the presentations available at DirkStanley.com. For today's presentation, we have three goals. Number one is to describe the operations pyramid on which predictable workflows and projects are built and directed. Number two, to describe the informatics domain. Number three, to demonstrate how the informatics domain is vital in developing and directing workflows in the electronic realm. So let's get started. First, I'd like to show this diagram that I call the operations pyramid. I created this diagram to help explain how predictable operations are created. So first, let's look at two important features of the diagram. At the top of the pyramid, is the mission and vision. This is essential for setting the tone and direction of the organization. It creates goals and targets and is necessary to align the rest of the operations with successful outcomes. Typically, senior leadership has the responsibility for defining this very important part of the operations pyramid. At the bottom of the pyramid is organizational support because nothing happens in an organization without good support. Between these two parts of the pyramid are a number of steps which all build on each other to predictably support the mission and vision of the organization. So let's look at these from the bottom up. The first is the concepts, or in informatics terms, ontologies, which shape the fundamental understanding and principles that the organization uses to function. With these concepts then come definitions. These definitions then create the standards for writing and speaking predictably to each other, which then supports the creation of templates that are then used to standardize information that can be combined into working documents and tools. And those working documents and tools then can be combined into clinical workflows that then support the goals of the organization, that then support the mission and vision of the organization. Even when it's not fully appreciated, every organization has this pyramid at work creating predictability and infrastructure, or not if it's not well understood. This brings us to the informatics domain and why it's suddenly become an important part of the operations in the EMR world. Informaticists are people who work to bring predictable outcomes by focusing their attention on steps three to seven of this pyramid. So to be able to create predictable workflows and processes at number three, informaticists must also concern themselves with steps four to seven. Now, keep in mind that the part that's most visible in most organizations, the traditional operating documents and tools that we think of as what we need to operate is really only step four of this pyramid. So you'll notice that compared to the entire informatics domain, this is only a part of what informaticists concern themselves with. Now, conflicts can arise if it's not well understood that these deliverables in number four are only a piece of the entire informatics domain. It's also important to consider the depth and breadth of these deliverables. So to better understand the challenges that organizations may face when developing a successful informatics framework, let's look at this line number four, the documents and tools that are used to shape workflows in a little more detail and see how it is related to workflow development. Now to create workflows that are smooth, predictable, reliable, and non-disruptive, it requires a significant amount of deliverables. The list continues to grow as technology advances. One common cause of confusion is that some of those deliverables are inside the electronic medical record and some are outside. This is another potential source of conflict for the informaticist 
who is seen as only needing to occupy their time with the quote-unquote EMR issues. So let's look at these deliverables in more detail. In this slide, I've largely separated the workflow deliverables into the ones that are generally found outside the electronic medical record. These are the ones that are traditionally seen as the responsibility of other departments, such as quality, nursing, IT, human resources, or finance. Other deliverables are generally found inside the electronic medical record. These are the ones that are traditionally seen as the responsibility of clinical IT and informatics professionals. And then there are some deliverables that span both, largely the emerging workflow technology, which is created to help automate clinical workflow management. The challenge that some organizations face in developing a successful informatics platform, however, is the understanding that whether they are inside the electronic medical record or outside the electronic medical record or both, these deliverables all impact workflow together. So to avoid conflict, it's important to consider breaking with tradition and developing a newer governance model which integrates your informatics leadership with the leadership of these other departments, such as quality, nursing, IT, human resources, and finance. If the workflows that the organization needs depend on all of these deliverables together, then it's important that the leaders of all of these areas work together to manage the deliverables as a team. And this is why informatics should not be confused with IT, tech support, or, quote, whatever is inside the EMR. Workflow success depends on the integration of leadership from all of these areas to ensure that the organization can build and fully support the workflows that are needed to support their operational goals and vision. I hope this video has been helpful to you, and if you have additional questions, feel free to visit DirkStanley.com. Thank you.